My name is Domi Enders. I'm the instigator of a new kind of software as a service called OpenAssembly, a company I founded three years ago because I'm a passionate advocate of open education and a true believer in the power of open. Openness in education has been improving student learning and increasing affordability for over a decade, but the vast majority of at-risk students are still not benefiting. This is because we're still not reaching nearly enough faculty. Recent research in the U.S. shows that 66 to 75 percent are still completely unaware of open resources. How can we accelerate the pace at which openness is reaching faculty so that many more students can benefit sooner rather than later? And how can we overcome technology barriers to really enable reuse of resources? Current initiatives are making some inroads, but they're still missing a key piece of the puzzle, and that is the empowerment of part-time adjunct faculty to participate, which requires a bottom-up strategy because of their peripheral relationship to institutions. The majority of faculty today, 75% in the US, are adjuncts. They're a contingent labor force with limited job security, second-class status, and no voice in the education system. And yet the burden of improving student outcomes is largely on their shoulders. They lack the professional support that their full-time colleagues receive, including support through the process of adopting open resources. I learned this firsthand as a former adjunct in a public college. Imagine a solution that enables faculty to share open resources seamlessly without any technology barriers. Imagine if a student access to open resources could persist beyond their courses. Open Assembly works side by side with existing strategies and initiatives. It leverages openness through an innovative combination of personalized technology, simple remixing tools, and specialized curation that is uniquely capable of reaching and serving those on the margins of the education system. Because open assembly is open and interoperable, it can be used either as an external tool within institutional technologies or through direct on-demand access. This means it's essentially portable for the individual with no barriers to access over time, regardless of institutional affiliation or status. This technology is the means by which we can help adjuncts achieve an enduring sense of agency and openness. I've devoted a lot of time in the last three years to working with adjuncts, identifying the sweet spot that reduces barriers enough to encourage adoption of open resources. Through this iterative process, Open Assembly has evolved into an open technology framework that integrates three core components within an, intu an intuitive user interface. The first is a highly specialized collection of open resources curated for faculty teaching college courses and for a broad range of teaching and learning styles. The second are drag and drop curation and remixing tools for pathways, courses, and resources. The third are collaboration and communication features focused on resource curation. We currently have over 500 faculty using our software. In our community college pilots, we're seeing that many of our early adopters are becoming ambassadors. My favorite story is about an adjunct who, when first approached, told me that she had no technical ability and no time to find open resources, but could I please help her figure out how to use badges in her teaching? So she started by helping us develop the open badge feature on OpenAssembly, and soon became hooked on open sharing. Three months later, she's leading a collaborative effort throughout the Spanish department to develop an open collection that will ultimately benefit close to 4,000 students in her district, saving them over $1 million every year. Imagine if we could turn hundreds or even thousands of other adjuncts into equally effective ambassadors. With your support, we can accomplish our milestones for this coming year. One, to increase our specialized collection of resources to 20,000, as well as to expand alignment of resources to competencies, student learning outcomes, and learning styles. Two, develop efficacy criteria for resources and conduct efficacy studies. Three, secure three to five new institutional partners in order to further pilot our solution. And lastly, to serve 1,000 to 1,500 adjuncts, both through institutions and directly, by leveraging their professional and social networks. Above all, your support will enable Open Assembly to continue to scale open participation and open sharing to more corners of higher education in order to foster greater inclusion, not only for vulnerable students, but also for vulnerable faculty. It will be a great honor to join other Shuttleworth Fellows solving problems around the world through openness. Thank you so much for your consideration.